Allegra from Green and Greener here today to talk about a general green living tip, which is caring for your wool clothing. It's spring and so you might be thinking about putting away your wool clothing and you want to learn about how to protect it from moths without using mothballs. Well, a few facts about moths and wool. First of all, the moths aren't actually attracted to the wool itself. They're actually eating the dirt and oil and stains that you've left behind while you've been wearing your clothing. I know it's gross, but it's true. So <laughs> the best way to avoid moths eating your wool clothing is to launder it before you put it away. Now, I personally try to avoid dry cleaning at all costs, as much for the cost as for all of the chemicals that are involved, even though there are greener versions out there. And I actually launder all of my woolens at home. I either put the ones that are more robust, I put those into the laundry machine with my laundry ball, which if you're interested in learning about that, it's here. And I wash them on cold on a delicate cycle and then I stretch them out to reshape them and lay them flat to dry. If it's more delicate item, I will hand launder it. Mostly though, I do it in the laundry machine. I only hand launder a couple of items. And then when they're fully dry, I fold them up and I put them into a wooden chest. It's not cedar, it's a sandalwood chest that I inherited from my family. But if you can put them in some sort of closed environment, but that is still breathable, so maybe a linen or a cloth box, um, a linen or cotton box, or a wood chest, and then to put in some cedar chips, some lavender, there are all sorts of natural products that you can put in to help avoid moths and avoid mothballs. So there you go. Launder before, store in a closed but breathable environment, and add essential oils like lavender and cedar in order to protect against moths. And I have to say, using this method, I've been able to avoid moths in my area. So there you go. Thanks, and let me know if you have any other tips for avoiding moths eating your clothes, and let me know what you think of this tip in the comment section below. Thanks!